that's in the house tonight. Truly, it is a blessing to be here. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You know, as I look at the news, how they had that earthquake over in Hawaii, went all the way up to California. You look at the mudslides like Pastor was telling us today. All the signs are here. I tell God, give me, give me eyes to see and ears to hear. I want to be able, hallelujah, my desire is to make it in. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm speaking for myself tonight. Because sometimes when you know you get down to pray and you feel like you're just hitting a rock. Amen. But you still got to keep hammering. You keep hammering. Amen. Knowing I believe. You got to believe in your prayers. And I tell God, I'm, I got to believe in what I'm asking, what I'm praying for. And my, my desire that I pray every day that I make it in. Amen. Because how many know hell is real? Yes. Amen. Like they said, they, you don't hear that much nowadays, but you you know, you got to be reminded of some things. Yes. And when you read the word of God, it'll tell us these things. Mm -hmm. And I ask God every day to shield me, to protect me, to keep me, to cover me, because as these disease and plagues in the land, I remember testimonies, of, and not testimony, but prophecies when Brother Terrell said, how the doctor's just going to start naming stuff. Amen. And then we in that time, they naming stuff. Amen. You can go sick. They don't know. Amen. They don't know what's wrong because it's a plague. Amen. So they'll just start naming stuff. They'll tell you it's viral. That's all they're going to tell you. Mm -hmm. It's viral. Amen. But how many know we got to put our trust and our confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. I just pray to say that all the time. It's going to come to the point we're going to have to believe God, church. Amen. I mean, really believe God with mm -hmm. all that's in us. And I believe if we trust in him, 
He's going to bring us through. My Amen. testimony is tonight, I love the Lord, and I want to be saved. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I read it over, I said, woo. Oh, I said, that's deep. I read it again, I said, then you know, I kept reading over and search it out, search it out. And it's talking about being a watchman. Right. It's talking about, you know, back in those days, I'm gonna give y'all a little history on over it or whatever. Um, but it was talking about in those days where um, Isaiah, um, the prophet, he was getting ready to tell the Gentile nations that surrounding Judea, uh, uh, the judgments was coming upon Babylon, Eden, and Arabia. And he was telling them, you know, to you know, get the house in order or whatever. Just and it's happening today. And if you search, boy, I, I've been searching this out. If you search this out, you will see what this line up with the wars. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Because those descendants, if you keep reading, those descendants, they are some of Esau descendants. And it's like a war. So all of this, I'm like, oh, Lord, why you give me this? I don't know. Lord, I know that for your I, I say, I, I don't know. This is, but I can do it. You know, I then what I thought about? If I can study all that stuff for a nurse and cry, Lord, help me get that. I can get the word. Amen. We can get it if you want to get it. Amen. If you want to sit there and study and get it, mm -hmm. how bad you want it? Right. You're going to need it. Amen. This is your help. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've been getting to tell myself. I said, we, I can understand this. The Lord will help me. It's what you want him to help you with, praise the Lord. And I kept on studying and studying and studying. And I came up. The Lord started. I know it's the Lord. So it ministers to my spirit. Just to start rolling. I asked my husband a couple of things. He's like, I ain't never heard it like that. He said, I don't know if the Lord giving you a revelation because I ain't never, you know, he was like, fashion head, like, well, I ain't never, you know. But it got him to thinking too, praise the Lord. The Lord is working. Yes. But I'm going to read with you. If you'll turn with me to Isaiah 21, I'm going to read from, from 1 to the uh, to five at first, and um, verse five is going to be our focal focal point. Praise the Lord. So Isaiah twenty one and one uh, reads: The burden of the desert of the sea, the rural winds in the south passed through. So it came from the desert, from a Torah land. A grievous vision is declared unto me: the treasures dealer deal treasurely, the sober. The spoil of spoil. Go up, O Elam. Beseech, O Media, all the signs thereof have I made to see. Therefore are my lines filled with pain. Pains I have taken upon me, and the pains of a woman that travail. I was bowed down at the hearing of it. I was dismayed at the seeing of it. And that's, that's Isaiah. He's talking about all the stuff that he's seen, all the, the stuff that's finna come upon the land, just like Sister Faye was saying, like the wars, the earthquakes come upon the land, but people don't have a mind. They don't have a mind, just like they... And when you get on down to the, to the main focus point, let me slow down. Then first verse said, My heart painted, fearfully, affrighted me. The night of pleasure has he turned into fear unto me. So this is the focus points that, that I'm going to uh, talk about. It says, prepare the table, watch in the watchtower, eat, drink, arise, you princess, and anoint the shield. Hold right there, praise the Lord. So with that right there, those people, even this saying prepare the table, but they wasn't getting paired spiritually. They was getting ready for a banquet like a party. Let's like tonight, the people are getting ready for what is it there? The Super Bowl tonight. And so I went on and it was talking about the watchtower. And it was talking about a watchman. So my question to you tonight, are you called to be a watchman? All right. The title, are you called to be a watchman? Praise the Lord. So we're going to go back to prepare. It's not going to be a screaming. Uh, if the Lord take me there, whatever. But he gave this to me. I have studied it out, and I'm going to give it to y'all like I, 
I prepared it because I thank the Lord gave me this. He didn't give me this for now, praise the Lord. And so when they were talking about preparing, so we as Christians, we as saved, sanctified Christians, where are we preparing? What are we preparing? Are we preparing like the ants? Like me and my husband talked about, are we preparing food? Are we preparing um, canned goods, food, uh, getting our bills in order? We're not buying all these things. You know, for me and for myself, I can talk about me. I can't talk about nobody else, but for me, I always want something. Right now, I'm, I'm, I want me an uh, a SUV, a Lexus. I, I want a Mercedes, and I changed my mind. And I said, no, I'm going to get me a Lexus. And my husband say, you're not, you don't need to get that. You don't, you know, we don't need to get that. You don't need to get that stuff. You better leave that stuff where it's at because we're going to get ready to go through something. That's what I'm saying. So who is preparing? Are you preparing for what's going to get ready to come? If a bomb hit right now, are you prepared to have food? Are you preparing in the natural? Are you preparing in the spiritually? Are you prepared? Are you mentally prepared right now? Like Sister Faye, something happened. Will you be able to know that you can get a prep through? Are you prepared? Is your faith is going to hold? That's what I'm talking about, praise the Lord. So that's why I know, you know, this hit, this hit me. It hit me hard. Because I said, that's, that's me. The Lord, first, when he gives you something, it first Amen. starts with so, you. Amen. So I'm preaching to myself on the night first. But I'm sure it was you all, praise Amen. the Lord. And so I went on to thinking about, you know, the watchman. So I'm talking to myself, Sabrina Dor. Are you called to be a watchman? All right. So I got to ask myself first for I to ask y'all to ask, you know, y'all said, I got to ask myself. And my husband said, well, I don't know if people are called to be a watchman. He said, because back in the day, it was it was uh, prophets, uh, ministers that over people. I said, well, okay, I, I agree with that. I said, well, I won't present it like people are called to be a, a watchman. I said, I just ask them, uh, do they think they are called to be the watchman? But I tell you what my, what the words say now. What we are called to do yeah. as saints, well, praise the Lord. Amen. And so, this is what the word, this is what the, the word say. We are all called to tell somebody about Jesus Christ. We are all called to call somebody to the light, praise the Lord. We are all what we are all called to be someone to tell somebody about Jesus Christ that God died for them and loved them. We are all called to pray, to fast for some people. We are all called to do something. So, what are we all called to do? So are you called to be a watchman? Or are you called to just sit there and don't warn the people? So it's all on pastor. So are you called to be a watchman? So in the word it says, many are called, but few are chosen. So I told my husband, I said, what about the people that are not chosen? So if you're a saint and you're not chosen, that's unacceptable. So you are called. So when you get chosen, you got to do something. Praise the Lord. And that's the word. Praise the Lord. They go for me too. They go for me too. Praise the Lord. It's so, I'm talking about myself. Praise the Lord. I'm not the one to get up here and talk about what somebody else is doing and I ain't doing nothing. Praise the Lord. And then I'll say the harvest is truly plentiful, plentiful but the labors are very few. Don't nobody want to do nothing. Don't nobody, don't nobody wanna don't nobody wanna commit to nothing. Amen. Don't nobody wanna don't nobody wanna 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 pray. Amen. My God, when you pray, when you pray in an earnest prayer, it leave a lead a pain in your stomach. Yeah. Pray, you can pray yeah. so hard and call them. Don't nobody wanna do that. Amen. But you'll testify though. Right. Yeah, but you'll testify, but you don't want to pray. Right. I can't get nobody to pray. I have to get the same people to pray over and over and over Amen. and over. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But it's the truth, you know. You have to tell the truth about it. Praise the Lord. And just like Brother Ellis, you know, I'm standing up here and talking, you know, see, I'm going to tell the truth, praise the Lord. You know, he said, Sabrina, can you come to the nursing home? Can you come to the nursing home and preach? You know? And a lot of times you don't do it because you think you don't have what to have. But you don't never know what you got until you do it. Until you try. 
praise the Lord. The God can use you if you're willing. You got to first be willing. Praise the Lord, Bible study teacher. You got to be willing. Praise the Lord. But I've come tonight to tell you. But they went on and they were talking about. So he started showing them what he was seeing. So when you get home, everybody read this. Isaiah 21. Read it out. Search it out for yourself. Because I'm doing my best to try to explain it to you. But he went on and on, and he told them that um, he seen that, that the chariots on, 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 on the asses and the camels, they coming, whatever. He was telling them they coming, he coming. Then when you get on down to, to verse 11, and it says, the watchmen, the watchmen of the night, the watchmen, what are the watchmen? And it said, the watchman said, the morning coming, and the night also. You know what I mean? It's good right now, baby. Oh, I got a good job. I sit back at night. Boy, God, no bless me. Boy, I sit back. It's good. But guess what? The dark is coming. The night is coming. So what's Sabrina about to be getting prepared? So see, he put me there to be getting prepared. Every opportunity that I get, every patient that, that, that I can get a, a, a loophole in and tell them something about Jesus Christ, I'm telling them to pray, praise the Lord. If I can walk around that bed if I'm in that room for three hours, praise the Lord, I can walk around that bed. Right around that bed and, and pray for them, you know, and, and hold their hand, praise the Lord. Be an encouragement, do something, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And then, so we like it, like I said, we're having a good time right now. Everything's good, everybody dressed up. They're going to get ready for the party, they're getting ready for the banquet. And Isaiah was telling them, everything is good now, but the night is the night is coming, the night is coming, trials is coming, yes. wars is coming, yes. earthquakes is coming, yes. praise the Lord. It's going to be a famine in the land. Yes. We're going to be a food shortage in the land, yes. praise the Lord. Will you be able to stand? And then he said, return. Come on. He said, return. He said, come. He said, come. You know, so it's up to you. He giving you a chance. Yes. He giving all of us a chance. Yes. So it's up to you. Amen. Are you called a washman? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.